side over little. Oh, I see it. I see the green Camaro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't see anything else. It's gone. Skip it. I never saw it the first time. It's gone. You'll never see it again for the rest of your life. You mean that uh, stick chick in the uh, jacket? No. You broke my Swiss binoculars to show me some stick chick in a Snoopy jacket? <sighs> Idiot, I'm talking masterpiece. And all you can see was that dog? Yeah, throw me a beer. I don't see anything. Throw me a beer. Throw yourself a beer. Oh, come on. Maybe.
you doing? What'd you say? This and that. Come on, man, what? Just stuff. Like, you know, can you move your car? You're blocking me. But you know, nice thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I can hear her. She has this voice, like, like hot maple syrup in February. Yes, yeah, so then I proceed to move my car. She opens her I, mouth, her gorgeous 25-year-old mouth, and out comes the same. Yeah, so then I tried to. Like a cool breeze that comes over you, like after you've worked hey, out. Who's telling her story? Tell me she's not a C2. No way, Renee. Girl puts out, I can tell. Because if she's a CT and a 10, I won't know what to do. Tell me no reason to go on living. Shells. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. So this is it, huh? Just like old times, huh? You said it. Yeah. Only this time with a 10. And how many of those were there at Dwight D. Eisenhower Senior High? Zilch. A 10.
Do I really want to marry a guy who files his shirts in the closet? Sure, you can type his grocery lists. I don't know. I mean, he is sweet, and he's caring, and he's got an incredible lot of money. Those are all important traits. I sound awful, don't I? Yeah, but you really like him. I do. It's just, I'm not sure I ought to marry him. Tanning gel, moisturizer, pore minimizing fluid. What the hell is that? Oh, that's very important. That makes the big pores look smaller and the little pores look like they're not even there. <laughs> well, if it blocks up the pores, then how do they breathe? They don't, I guess. And then doesn't all that gunk start to build up? I guess. And then you break out again, right? No, there's another one for that, it's right here. It's made by the same company. Makes the pores come back so you can see them again. Which brings us back to where we started. You're right. It all seems so futile sometimes. Is this a zit? Where? Right here on my chin, don't lock. Yeah, I think maybe. Damn it, you notice those Moby Dick fish sticks we had last night? I swear by Monday, I'm going to need a tube of caulk and a putty scraper. <laughs> Where's that stuff that opens up the pores? Go easy. It's expensive. What do you care? You don't even need it. You have perfect skin and perfect lashes and perfect cheekbones and, and hair. I mean, why do you even use all this crap? I don't know. I just always have. There's no need to go through these bizarre beauty rituals. You've already landed the boy wonder. Rhonda, I don't just wear it for him. I happen to like the way it makes me feel. Okay. You know what I resent about David? What? He has this undertone. He's not even aware of it. That he's doing me this big favor somehow. I mean, he's this boy VP at the bank, and I'm just this teller. Not even a college graduate, God help us. Just this poor little somebody he's going to save from a life of tellerdom. You know, I wish somebody would save me from 